share with you something that's very close to my heart. We are poised at a moment in history where one age is dying and a next is just about to be born. Each of us is faced with a choice. As we sense the foundations of our world shaking, do we withdraw in anxiety and try to hang on to what we once believed to be the way things should be? Do we become paralyzed and attempt to cover up our fear with apathy? Or do we embrace the courage being offered to us by a universe in flux and, step by step, commit ourselves to discovering who in essence we are at the deepest levels of our being, and do we decide to live our lives from there? How do you feel about this? Can you honor your instincts? Will you choose to face the challenge of entering into the realms of your innate creative power and forging a new life for yourself in the midst of all the chaos, confusion, and deception which surround us in this crazy world we live in now? You see, I believe we can. The choice we're being asked to make is either joining the sheep and conforming to established belief systems, even though they no longer offer a sense of safety that we once believed we could count on, or taking a chance on discovering our own truth. Of course, this means leaping into the unknown for which there is no precedent. What are the rewards of choosing this second possibility? Well, I'll let me tell you, they are immense. This makes it possible for each of us to tap into the joy and the power of our own creativity and to begin to live our lives from it for our own benefit and the benefit of those we love as well as of the world we live in. Authenticity, being true to yourself at the deepest level of your being, is the greatest gift you'll ever experience. It's all about discovering how unique you really are. This brings joy and satisfaction and makes it all possible. After all, we can only collect so many BMWs and university degrees and new lovers. All of these things are great, but none of them lead to a sense of self-worth, simple joy, and genuine freedom. You know, I believe that freedom is the birthright of every human being. Realizing you deserve it is the first step in claiming it as your own. For some people, this can seem the most difficult step to take because it means coming to respect and honor yourself enough that you allow your unique truths to arise from deep within. In the past seven years, I've personally worked with men and women all over the world. When many begin their Kura protocol, more often than not, their minds are filled with false notions that changing their weight and expanding their health and their lives with joy could never be more than a pipe dream. Well, I'll tell you something. They soon learn otherwise. When they follow their protocol to the letter, they discover for themselves how exciting it can be to live one's life in wholeness. The program brings body, mind, and spirit together in a harmonious way, and they experience a natural clearing of limiting beliefs and false notions, many of which they've had for years. Now, this process clarifies and expands their experience of the world around them. And this is because every blinkered view of reality blocks our freedom, entraps our creativity, limits bliss, and disconnects us not only from our essential beauty, but also from the universe as a whole in all its wonderment and the power it can bring for growth and transformation of our own lives and of the world. Connecting with who you really are, accessing authentic power, and living your freedom requires that you expand your consciousness in a major way. As human beings, we have a natural capacity to move beyond our limited experience of five-sensory, three-dimensional reality. We can learn to enter expanded realms of consciousness. This new expanding worldview is called holism. It looks upon the universe as holographic. 
Holism was named after the work of scientists who demonstrated that living organisms are integrated energetic systems within an integrated whole. Even your brain and body, they're holographic. Each small part of us, like each part of the universe, is not only connected to the rest, it actually embodies the nature of the whole within it. The tension between the new holism and the old mechanism, which of course depended on a belief in a separation of spirit from matter, form, and substance, must be urgently resolved if we are to break out of the self-imposed prisons that have been forced upon us by restrictive rules and conventions. I believe that every one of us is now being called upon to let go of our preconceived notions about what is real in order to explore the further reaches of a wider, more exciting and transformative reality. For reasons I still don't fully understand, Kura's inner circle has been an ideal opportunity for many people to discover this. To experience real freedom, you only need to welcome more and more of your essential soul nature into your everyday experience of life through dance, through ritual, through prayer, through your work, through your friends, your relationships, your interactions with the world around you in ever more direct and fearless ways. I have long loved a saying that I first heard when I was 12 years old. It goes like this, quote, tell the truth and shame the devil, unquote. In regard to how it relates here, what I've been describing is nothing more or less than discovering your own truth and choosing to live your life from it at every level, whether or not it fits with what you've been taught you are supposed to do. And the more you dare to do this, not only does it bring you an immense sense of joy and natural confidence, it becomes easier and easier to trust yourself. There is nothing more fun than being who you truly are. Dance your unique truth, and the universe dances with you. The rewards of living this way can be virtually infinite. (laughs) 